Okay, so now we're going to talk about the schema diagram of our clinic management system, which means that we will discuss the tables that we're going to create later on to begin in our development process. So the first table that we have is the user table. The user table has actually three columns or three attributes. The first one is the user ID, which will be an auto incremented um, number, which represents the ID of the user, then the username and the password. So this table is responsible for storing the credentials of our users. The next table is the account table. And basically the account stores the information of the user itself, like the uh, account name, the account date of birth, the account creation date, account notes, if there are any, and the account type. The account type can be whether 0, 1, or 2. 0 indicates that this account is a secretary account, 1 that this is a doctor, and 2 that this is a patient. And finally the account phone number. And we also have a link between this table and the user table which is used for uh, storing the credentials so that the secretary and doctors can log into our system. So we are having a foreign, foreign key that is the account underscore user underscore ID which references the uh, field user underscore ID found in table user. And of course we have the account ID which is also an auto increment ID that is um, used to identify this person or this account. Moving on to our next table which is the reservation table. The reservation table stores the information that is entered by the secretary to reserve an appointment or reserve a visit at the clinic. So it has an auto increment ID which is reservation ID, ID and has the uh, patient ID which is a foreign key that references the account ID for the patient and it has a reservation secretary ID which is a foreign key that references the account ID of the secretary who made the reservation and reservation visit date which represents the date of the appointment and the reservation visit slot which represents the time of the appointment. So basically we're assuming that we have 10 slots per day and each slot lasts for 30 minutes. So it's going to start from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. So the first slot is from 6 p.m. to 6.30 and the next one from 6.30 to 7. And the last field is the reservation date which is actually the date that this reservation was made. Moving on to our last table which is the visit table. It actually has an auto increment ID which is visit underscore ID and we have the visit reservation ID which is a foreign key that references the reservation ID for this visit. Then we have the visit doctor ID, which is the ID that references the account ID representing the doctor who is handling the visit. Then we have the visit date, the reasons for the visit, the visit diagnosis, and finally some visit notes, if any. 
so that's it guys for this tutorial for this tutorial and i'm gonna see you in the next one with implementing this thing